I got few death threats when I speak on it. A uh, few bombs, bomb threats, and many gossips, slanders, and they say that I'm, you know, not healthy, <laughs> false prophet, and all these things. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Because if I, if I can save one soul, preventing them through the testimony, the yeah. testimony to go there, it's worth it. Mm. You want to kill me? It's still worth it. Yeah. It was uh, on January the 1st, eight years ago, year 2000. I was, uh, I went to bed the night before. My wife was next to me and I, and there's one moment when I woke up and with all consciousness, all my senses intact, my brain, everything, it's just fully conscious. But I was surprised because I wasn't, uh, I wasn't where I was supposed to be in my room. I was uh, in a very, in a weird place. I couldn't explain. There's no place like that. And uh, I was, I was puzzling. Where am I? What's this? I mean, I'm conscious. It's not a dream, not a vision, but it's me. Like physically too, it's me. I just cannot see myself wearing what clothes and so on. It's all the details just lost because of the trauma, because of the shock. And I heard a voice behind me. I couldn't turn my neck, you know, to the right, to the left, just a voice behind me. And because I fellowship with that voice every day, reading the Bible every day, I know who, that I know, that I know that that voice is my master, Jesus Christ, saying to me, you are here by my will. Go ahead and go, go forward, walk on, I'll lead you. I'll show you something to tell other people. And just walk on. And, uh, very long, long path. I, I really long path, and it's very stuffy, no air, and uh, no wind blowing, and it's very uh, heavy. I think the the stink itself could kill you, literally in this life. But I know that I was in in a good hand, and I walk on. Said, "What is it that you are trying to show me? Get me out of here, you know? Get me out of here. It's, it, you feel everything. Like you feel your skin. You feel everything, and." Uh, and finally, I reach a place. He led me to a place. It's a wide and wide gate, and a huge wide gate. It's not like a gate at all. I, I, nothing like it. Whatever I say here is just. It's just far to be likened to anything that we have seen in this life on, on Earth. And that gate is so wide, and, and there's a supernatural writings on it above it. It's uh, amazing even to be able to read it because it's so far, it's so wide and tall, and it's a door. And the writing, can God touch my eyes to be able to interpret what it's written. It's something like the valley of death and torture, something like that. And a voice behind me saying, open the door. I say, I'm afraid to even open the door. It's so rusty, it could hurt my hand because it's not a spiritual, I mean, it's not a spiritual experience. It's like almost physical, you know, not almost physical. It's more than physical. It's very... I'm not going to touch doors like that. It's going to hurt my uh, my hands. But before I touch it, the door opened by itself. And when it, as it opens, it breaks my heart so much. I could... I could hear all those... All those... I, I, could, I could hear... People... People. Voices. Voices of human beings crying for help and cursing everything, you name it. And it's not clear anymore. So many people and gnashing of teeth and, and the heat just, the darkness just came out. It's not like darkness, like there's no light and this is darkness. It's the darkness is a force and it's a, it's a reality. It's, 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 it's feeling the wrath of God in the air. And, and as I opened the door and, and I could see I was by the gate and I knew exactly where I was. I was where the dead are kept until the day of the judgment of Jesus Christ, the white throne judgment that is written in the book of Revelation. And before I could see anything else, I could see far, far away, far, far away. It's too far for a man to reach with his eyes, but because God, because of Jesus and his, his, his power, I could see it very far away, endless, endless at that direction in front of me is really endless. And I could see smoke billowing up 
and and it was like there is a glow of fire though I could not see the end of the fire it must be very, the valley must be very deep you know and the lake must be deep it must be a lake of fire or something and it's and 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 it's so huge I could only see the smoke billowing up and 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 I begin to see a lot of tortures happen and I re I re reminded what is written in the book of revelation that no one has been thrown into that lake of fire, not the devil, not human beings who died and perished in his sin, no one until the throne of, under the white throne judgment of Jesus Christ. So I know where I'm standing at is by the gate of death, where I see so millions and only God knows the numbers. It's a lot, trust me, a lot more than people who go to church for sure. <laughs> and I saw people being tortured by the free demon spirits that are also condemned but they are not yet judged and not yet bound not yet not yet thrown into the lake of fire and these human beings who these dead people who is trust me they are not dead at all they are alive and more alive than they thought than they than we think and they are tortured day and night by the spirits and the, that that they serve them in their lives with their sins and this is pay up time this is not judgment time this is just pay up time you know these spirits own them forever and these spirits these devils d demon spirits and this devil and this all these cursed dead people who perish in their sins gonna be thrown to the lake of fire and I could see all kinds of torture there people are tortured according to their sins on earth not because it's God's judgment God's judgment is fair but this is like a playground play time for the devil you know Jesus says it's better for you to go to heaven one eye if your eye causes you to sin gouge it out because it's better for you to be one eye into heaven than two eyes into heaven you know what happened if you sin with your eyes then your eyes are the are the play toy in that in that in that torture chamber not even a chamber is too small chamber is too small and if your hands causes you to sin one of your hands just causes you to sin, sin just 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 cut it off it's better for you to be one-handed into heaven and two-handed. I saw all kinds of torture yes. and people and oh yes. oh have mercy. All I did was I just said, "Have mercy, Lord, have mercy." I almost died witnessing all that, and I didn't die because of God's strength and. If if it's if it were not God's strength, I would have died in my sleep, and people would have thought I got a heart attack or something. Yeah. And after that experience, I woke up in the in the morning. I got pain all over my body. I threw up almost every day. Just thinking about it, it's so traumatic. Especially if people ask you <laughs> ask you how to tell a story, that would be like killing you again and again and again. And nine months after that. I did the first crusade. It was after a lot of bargaining with God. God told me, Holy Spirit urged me to, to do a crusade and share a testimony. I said, well, I don't want to. I don't think I could, you know. Secondly, I don't want people to think I'm crazy. I've been called false prophet. I've been called theologically unhealthy uh, preacher, whatever. Lord, if you love me, don't tell me to do this. It's, 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 it's bad enough, you know, you bring me there. It's bad enough. Why don't you bring like this guy, <laughs> that guy? Why don't you bring me? And I obeyed anyway. And in that crusade, I preached very simply. And people, a lot of people came and ran to the front to receive Jesus. I didn't do that altar call that in this way. Who wants to receive Jesus? All eyes closed, all heads bowed, you know. Nothing wrong with that stuff. I don't do that because of the emergency. You know what? Preaching the gospel is emergency. It's urgency. It's nothing. It's not nothing like a. It's not a joke. It's not manipulation. It's not a business. Come on. It's not. It's not all that. And 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 I don't care anymore. I obey the Lord. Even if I have to die, people will kill me because people didn't like me, especially here in Indonesia. If I die, it's again. But if I can save one person from going there. Not me, but Christ can save through my testimony, through the word of God. It's all worth it. 
and people just ran forward and receiving Jesus. And I saw about seven young men up there on the on the second floor as they are listening to my sermon. They were joking with each other as I was sharing this. And as I was giving the altar call, people just come forward for a few seconds. I don't give them much time. And those seven people just talk with each other, seemingly like mocking what what my testimony. I didn't, you know, I didn't take any. I don't take things like that personally because it's not me they reject. Suddenly I get my first vision in that crusade. I got a vision, these seven people willingly holding hands together, jump into the lake of fire and that broke my heart. But although about some thousands of people came to Christ in that three nights, three nights of crusades, but still cannot heal my heart. I know that those seven people have hardened their hearts. And I don't think in any other crusades or in any other witnessing effort by their friends, if they hear something as hard as hell, they cannot change. They will not change at all. And how about the people in the Western world? Hell is a fantasy. Hell is a hell is just a word. Go to hell. Do you know what you're talking about? And hell is just like it's just a it's just a story, you know. It's not real. It's not. It's made up. Well, up it's up to all of us what to believe. But I always have this belief. I share this. Believe it or not, my hands are clean. Whether people believe or not believe is not, it's not in my control. As long as my hands, I know I'm clean, my hands are clean from your blood. You make your own choice. I done my part. Yeah. And I knew that we are not to take sin lightly. We are to be judged according to our deeds. And Jesus Christ comes, died, came, died as a, 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 a horrible death. There must be something horrible in death for all human beings to experience for such a love to be sent from above to die a horribly and an embarrassingly humiliating death like Jesus Jesus did on the cross. We must not take things easily. Take take sin easily. And yeah.